going on? Welcome to Mikasa. Uh, no shoes. Uh, as you can see, that's uh, that's how we roll. No shoes in the house. Come on in. First thing you're going to see when you walk in is our very unimpressive uh, sports history. Uh, myself and my roommate and best friend Tyler Cameron both live here. We have a lot of some of our favorite memories shared together on the wall, but not like the memories we make in the kitchen. Welcome to my kitchen. We are going to start with the most important part of the kitchen, everyone's kitchen, and that is the refrigerator. Uh, everything is centered around snacking, breakfast, or smoothies. So uh, in terms of the snacking, I try to be as health conscious as I can because I'm always traveling. So I've got my favorite array of healthy snacks and that's Ithaca hummus. If you know anything about me, you know I love hummus. I was just introduced to hummus. The way I like to enjoy my hummus though, as you'll see right here, are these brolives. I put little olives on the tips of broccoli and I dip them in my hummus. So whenever I'm on the run, I need to grab something real quick. I'll just dip some of my, my brolip in the, in, the, in the hummus and I'll get going. Eggs, the essential, you have to have eggs for breakfast. Uh, very quick, uh, makes sense for me as I'm always on the go. Probably my favorite drink, this and water. If I'm not drinking water, I'm drinking vita coca. I love to put it in my smoothies. Gotta have the coffee. The Bulletproof is like my go-to if I'm in a hurry and haven't had a chance to eat breakfast, but I need that first. Chocolate milk is, you know, who doesn't like chocolate milk? Great after workout, recovery. People are gonna kill me for having my refrigerator open this long, but it's all good. I gotta have the Chobani. It tastes good, it's low sugar, and it helps, you know, with the with the digestive, if you get what I'm saying. If we're partying, we're going MJ's tequila. Gotta have it. I, I love basketball, I love hoops. I can never play like MJ, so this is the closest that I could get to MJ. His tequila, I'm a big tequila guy. That's probably all I would drink. But these blueberries are essential. I get all my fruits frozen so that my smoothies are Arctic temperature because I like everything super cold. Like I said, I freeze all of my fruits, so I haven't found a place you can buy frozen bananas. I like to just peel them and put them in plastic bags. I want to take it to the cabinet though. These are some of my favorite snacks. Yeah, if I'm traveling or at the house, like these are things that are a thousand percent always going to be in my cabinet. Teddy grams. I've been I've been snacking on teddy grams since I was a jit. Like my mom used to put them in the plastic bag. They have a million different ways you can get them. I like the honey and the cinnamon. This is our workout, healthy part of the cabinet. You know these snacks are fire. Like if I'm if I'm in a rush, as I'm always in a rush, running late, I'll throw in some of these in the pocket, eat them on the go, and then this is the this is the this is the date night. This is all I know how to make pasta. I mean I grew I grew up eating it. And it just, it just makes sense. I'm either going penne, because penne is just my absolute favorite, or if you're going like traditional, then you gotta go with the spaghetti. And down my favorite is the penne. I just load it, you saw the butter in the refrigerator. And then I'll just throw sauce on it and hella cheese, like an uncomfortable amount of cheese is what I put on the bottom. I order out and eat out a lot because I don't really have time to cook. And when I do have time to cook, um, I'm generally having someone else come over and cook. We like to have family style meals. When I am cooking, I'm extremely anal about making sure you clean up as you go. So with my smoothies, like as I'm pouring out the smoothie into my cup, I'm washing out the blender. I'm making sure that everything is spotless because we never left cups, dishes, forks, knives in the sink. So it's just this pet peeve of mine that to make sure that the this, this sink is always clean. I can't say that for my roommate, you know, he uh, he likes to leave things around, so um, I'm constantly cleaning up his mess. So Tyler, if you see this, get it, get the hint, and please do your part here. I'm a great sous chef. I'm actually Ryan's sous chef, who's Tyler's little brother, and he's always on the Komodo, which is this insane grill that they have in Jupiter. We don't have that up here, but when he's up here, whatever he needs done in the kitchen, whether it's wiping stuff down, cleaning, seasoning things, like I'm running all over the place. Something I'll never find in my refrigerator is pickles. I'm not a big pickle fan, and I know that's not popular, but one of my biggest pet peeves is when I don't order pickles on something, and then they'll take it off after they've already put it on, and the pickle juice has seeped into whatever I'm eating. That's really frustrating, so whoever's listening who's done that before, please stop. Uh, if I could change anything about the kitchen, I would push this area back so that there's more room to come in and, and pick it, whatever the person's cooking, because 
I'm a little scavenger. And I, I like there to be a lot of room, maybe an island so that I can just do laps. And as the, as the cooking progresses, I can continue to eat more and more off the plate. Uh, but I like our kitchen. It's, it's got a great view of the city. This stove can heat up and boil water uh, very quickly, so I'm never waiting long. Again, those cooking at home segments are limited to pasta, eggs, bacon. I mean, I'm, uh, pancakes and waffles as well. Uh, very breakfast oriented, and if I'm staying at the house, I don't know how to make a lot, so it's gonna be pasta or I'm throwing in something from the freezer. But I appreciate you all coming into my home, checking out my kitchen. That's all I got for you.